Interior Designs Woodshop in Mount Equinox Country Store. I'm glad you're able to join us and we're blessed to have you here. Today's video is going to be just a basic update video. I'm just going to outline a couple of the projects that we have going in the shop here. And just so that you're aware, some of the projects that I talk about might not make videos. Like I just talked about recently building a swivel mirror. Um, that project there didn't make a video. I didn't have enough time to make the project, get it done in the amount of time that I gave myself, and also do the project, do the video on the project too. Um, so there's, with my, with my full-time work schedule, with the shop, with the store, with everything I've got going on, there's, there's very limited time to make videos. What we've done today is we've I've done a little tune-up on the jointer. Uh, I, I banged it. I threw the the fence out of out of square, so I had to go ahead and uh, get that back all lined up. That's that's in good shape. We're going to start building some cutting boards this week. Probably won't be any videos of that. I probably should have done a video of the of the resetting of the fence. Um, this this little machine wasn't all that expensive. Made by Grizzly. It's the model G0725. It, it's been very helpful in me making my cutting boards. I think it's increased my production rate because I don't have to go and hand, uh, hand joint every uh, cutting board with my, with my hand planes. The next thing is we just picked up this all maple table that was advertised as being unfinished. So I bought it. I thought I would go ahead and refinish it. I think my wife is going to take this table and refinish it herself. She mentioned she wanted to make a mosaic with it. If we're able to, uh, if we're able to make that mosaic, um, I might try to take some photos of the progress along the way. I'm not sure how she feels about video. I've got some paints lined up here. Um, got pink and black and yellow. Pretty good sized bottle of white. A couple of different reds and an orange. What I'm going to be building with this, this video should be out pretty shortly. I don't think it's going to be a long build project. I had this sitting around from when I first started working, uh, woodworking. So I didn't actually build the, the round thing. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole in the center of it. Go ahead and, and do a uh, what's called a dirty pour, and uh, I'm going to turn a cup upside down, pour all the paint inside the cup, and then kind of raise the cup up and let it marble or do whatever it does. I'm also going to hit it with some heat because apparently that um, causes what's called cells to occur, and it makes it look um, almost like it's made out of stone. Never done one, so I guess I'll find out. So I recently also picked up a, uh, a large fudge cooker. Uh, I don't know if you remember back in the fall, I talked about making fudge. So we're going to go ahead and try to get that into uh, progress and uh, get the get the fudge going. Um, probably mid to late March. I expect this video to be out about a day after I recorded it. So I'll go ahead and show you guys the fudge cooker. We'll go up to the shop, get a look at it. You can see what I'm going to be making the fudge out of. So here's the fudge cooker that I was speaking about down at the wood shop. Uh, deal presented itself. We couldn't pass it up. <coughs> um, come with this little, this little stand here. The stand has the, the pull-out drawer here for putting the trays on as you make the fudge and you pour the fudge off. The fudge cooker has a pouring mechanism and then you can just see the auger there where I went ahead and started to mock like a pour. Um, it's got a 35 pound bin it makes makes a good batch of fudge at a time. I've been told by people who have used machines like this that that's about a seven or eight batch load. I've never used it, so I don't know for sure. 
but um, I'm pretty excited to use it. I'm going to be building a custom fudge counter um, for the shop next door, and, uh, and then when we get over there, we'll go ahead and put this into use. I'll probably do two or three segments of videos on the, the fudge counter. It's going to be going to be a fun build, and um, it's probably going to be the next build that I want to highlight. So if you stay with us, we'll go ahead and get that fudge counter in production and start making fudge. So that will pretty much conclude today's update video. There's a little shot of the front of the building. There's some of the products that we carry. We carry maple syrup. We have handcrafted cutting boards in there. We have antiques and collectibles. We do things on consignment. Our hours of operation are Thursday through Monday, 10.30 to 6. Feel free to stop by and see us. I'm going to show you my greatest open sign right there. Look at that. Isn't that a beauty? I use my truck as an open sign. And until we see each other again, everybody stay blessed.